Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Frustrated China has come out to release their grievances. After during the regime of Uhuru Kenyatta, they worked well under the regime of Uhuru Kenyatta as the president by then Uhuru Kenyatta embraced them well when it comes to their investment, when it comes to their work. As we speak now, William Samaruto, it seems like he has come out to embrace United States of America. During the regime of Uhuru Kenyatta, United States of America was not happy. At that time when Uhuru Kenyatta was embracing China, because it is something that it is clear and also in the public domain, since Uhuru Kenyatta was elected as the president starting 2013 and until he hand over to William Ruto 2022, August or September, Uhuru Kenyatta became someone that was embracing China when it comes to their investment and also when it comes to their work. This was not good to United States State of America as also Uhuru Kenyatta came out against their certain policies as Uhuru Kenyatta was embracing the policies of China. As you know that our constitution was based or is still based on a British rule as not related the way Uhuru Kenyatta worked so much with China. As you speak now, William Ruto has come out to embrace the United States of America. And that is why it is the happiness of the United States of America where the president of the day is embracing them. When you look at the difference between the United States of America and China, is that China will invest in your country, but they will not interfere with your politics. That is the reality. And always count out the China when it comes to interference of the politics of a certain country. They always come out to invest. They always come out to work whatever has taken them there. Then after that, when it comes to election, you do your elections. Decide the way you want to decide. But for them, as long as you are embracing them, that's all. But when you look at the United States of America, they want to, uh, to, to shine when it comes to the investment and also they want to shine when it comes to the politics of a certain country. They always embrace someone that should be a president of a certain country. And that is why where United States of America is, you will see some leaders complaining about U.S. It is not once, it is not twice. Several countries has come, uh, they have come out to complain the same, same thing. So when you look at China and um, U.S., they are both superpower countries. When you look at also the addition of Russia also coming out to um, extend their hands of assistance and also their investment in the Republic of Kenya. I want to give you certain history about Russia. Raila Odinga has been always embracing Russia. Uhuru Kenyatta has been embracing China. William Ruto is embracing United States of America. These are superpower countries. When you look at Raila Odinga also, why he has been so much involving himself with Russia, there's a hospital that was built in Kisumu. This was built by Russians, Russia. When you look at even the brother of Raila Odinga, Oburo Odinga was, I think, an army, Russia. So there's a, a, a connection between Raila Odinga and Russia. So there was a possibility of Raila Odinga, his politics, and if any case he was going to be sworn in as the president, there was a possibility of Raila Odinga embracing Russia. But on this side, it was a clear indication that the United States of America was going to embrace William Ruto. Because William Ruto was, seems like a person that they can work with. 
when it comes to their issues in investment. When you look at Uhuru Kenyatta, was also so connected with China. So these are superpower countries, Russia, China, and U US. So when you look at Russia and China, they always not dictate the politics of a certain country. But the United States of America, they always dictate the politics of a certain country. And that is why they, they always feel bad China dominating certain countries in Africa. The other day, when Russia came out giving free fertilizers or sponsoring farmers or, uh, in Africa, and they came out distributing free fertilizers across Africa in different countries. And that is why when we are telling you that the fertilizers that are being subsidized by this current government in the Republic of Kenya, this was the fertilizer that came from Russia. It was very, this fertilizer came from Russia. It was free donated. So it seems like government is subsidizing fertilizer, but not. This was a free fertilizer that came from Russia. So for them, United States of America, they don't want so-called dominance of Russia in Africa. They don't want dominance of China in Africa. They want to dominate Africa to be their base when it comes to the investment. But again, China, as United States of America is so frustrated, the same China is being frustrated. But again, when you look at the problem that we are, we as Kenyans, is that the current president, the, 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 um, the previous president, Uru Kenyatta, embraced China so much. And that is why we are having their debts. It is China who built some roads in the Republic of Kenya. It is China who came out building SGR and also giving us loan. So we must pay their loans even if the current president is embracing United States of America. So we cannot embrace United States of America so much even forgetting to pay the debts of China. You know, that is whatever is happening. So if Kenya will not be able to pay their debts of China, then there's a possibility of China taking their things. And by taking their things, they can decide to take their SGR. They can decide to take even the port, you know. Because there's a lot of involvement of China since Uhuru Kenyatta took over the leadership of the Republic of Kenya. You know, that is the reality and that is whatever is happening currently in the Republic of Kenya. And that is why William Ruto is so darling to United States of America than China. And that is why you see China is losing big, losing big when it comes to the investment that they had and also the good relationship they had with the Kenyan government. I'm not saying that, that China is not having good relationship with the Kenyan government, but again, when you look at the relationship that William Ruto is having with the United States, is showing a clear indication that he is so embracing United States of America. He's comfortable working with the State of America than working with China and Russia. But is there any possibility of the United States of America taking over Kenya under the regime of William Ruto? Is there any possibility of China taking over? I don't see. Because if a president of the day is embracing United States of America, how will they come out to take over? Maybe let them wait until another president comes because every president comes with his embracing a matter when it comes to those who are going to work with, they, with him or with her. That is a criteria that we've seen always when it comes to the Republic of Kenya and other countries across Africa. But again, this is going to put us in danger. Why? Because if we are going to embrace United States of America, we must pay the debts of China. If we are going to embrace United States of America and we are not going to pay the debts of China, then we are in a big trouble. Because we are having huge amounts of debts that came from China. That is the reality and that is the truth. We like it, we don't like it. So the question that we are asking, is this frustration of China going to affect us towards even those developments 
that are yet to be accomplished by China? Or is there any kind of replacement of China with the United States of America? And what is the result and what is the impact after the embracing United States of America and also dissolutioning the, 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 the China? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Bye-bye.